marriage was a felony, would you have left those laws in place, tearing apart lovers and families, deeming it illegal to make sacred a union, which at that time broke norms and expectations? maybe shocked the majority, but we knew that miscegenation was a sort form of segregation and segregation was a form of oppression celebrated on these shores, the supposed land of the free. I say this sounds a little too much like justified discrimination, glorified homophobia, and you want it written into the Constitution? You say kids would have to learn about gay marriage if Prop 8 were defeated. Even if that were true, do you prefer that our kids are taught it's acceptable to exclude, it's moral to deny rights, and equality is not real? If you're so afraid, then please look at your own definition of love. Mine does not contain an inch of hatred. Mine does not condemn another, not even you. Mine is not just about tolerance, but compassion. And we don't even try to bother you the way you bother us, but we will keep fighting this. We will bother you now. Bother you with a message that love can never be limited. Not by a law and not by your hateful rhetoric. Not by 4% and not by all your church money. We will bother you with the truth, self-evident, that no matter what, no matter what, love can never be boxed, beaten down, or banned. Is that so dangerous? Thank you.